Hey, what's going on guys? It's Michael from Glaze Life bringing you another Git Top video in Adobe Photoshop. Now today I'm going to teach you how to create more professional, more dynamic, more better looking backgrounds um, for your title pages, for your graphics, for whatever you want to use it for. So we want to make it a little bit more interesting. We don't want just the plain background with plain text. We want to get it a little bit more spiced up and more professional. So in this uh, final project, I, I've created a, a lens flare, I've created a lighting effect, and I've created a drop shadow within our text. So it's three steps, really simple. We're going to jump right in. So I'm going to start with just a plain colored background. It can be any color you want. And I'm going to select the background, make sure this, uh, the background is selected over to the right over here. Oops. And we're going to go to Filter. We're going to go down to Render and we're going to go lighting effects. Now mine's preset and it's going to show up as a flashlight um, preset. And what this one is, it's, it really focuses on the center and kind of makes the edges a little bit darker. Now I can change the brightness of it by changing the uh, intensity of it right here. So I'm going to crank it up to what I like. But over here to the left, up here it says presets. There's a ton of them um, that you can choose from that are really good. Like I like the file lights down. It gives you five different spotlights. We have the floodlight, which gives you one direct beam of light. There's a ton of them. And this window is really awesome. This, um, this lighting effect window allows you to create virtual lights, sunlight, you can angle them different ways, make them brighter, change the color, all kinds and sorts of things to do here. But for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to teach you the flashlight. So I have it pretty much set where I want I'm just going to put it in the center. And what I like to use this one for is if I have a plain text in the center, it draws attention to it, and it just makes it look really nice. So we're going to hit OK once we've changed all the values and everything we needed to. And there it goes. It's on our background. So now we got to add some text. So I'm going to just type something right here. And I'm going to sit that in the center. And now we're going to make some drop shadow to our text to kind of bring it off the background. So we're going to double click our text layer. And we're going to hit drop shadow down here at the bottom. I don't have to change any values. I like it just like that kind of separates it from the background and makes it stand out a little bit more. Now just for fun I'm going to add another um, effect to our background layer. I'm going to go to filter, render, and we're going to hit the lens flare. Now this is a, a flare that can be used for anything. I mean it's it's really just a creative kind of effect. So I'm going to use the 105 millimeter prime lens flare and I'm going to keep the brightness at 100 and I'll put mine uh, towards the corner just like that I mean it, it just makes it a little bit more professional makes it stand out when people look at it um, so yeah there, there's the finished product and so you can change the colors you can do all kinds of stuff it's just a creative tool that's in Photoshop that's really easy I created this red one just with Glaze Life I mean it's really simple throw, throw some stuff together Really easy, guys. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. You just got taught. Check out our Glaze Life website. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Watch our other videos. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time.